All right, guys, this is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com or RHPG.org. Today I'm going to flash a Black Cat USB development board with the PS Groove firmware to jailbreak a PS3. The first thing you do once you get your, your uh, Black Cat board is it comes originally in running mode and there's two very small little switches that's on the board that you'll need to reset these two small switches right here you reset those or you change their position then there's a reset button right here you push that reset button I don't know if you heard it unmount from the PC but it resets that device also once you hook it up when you first hook it up to your computer it's just hooked up with a USB cord right to a USB on the front of the PC when you first hook it up you're gonna to have to install the drivers and I had to install the driver twice once when it was hooked up in its normal operation mode and again after I put it in the flashing mode or the development mode once that's in you can pick your software and stuff like that up you can uh, embeddedcomputers.net is where the black cat software comes from the PS Groove they've got it up on X-Bins you can find some mirrors around and stuff like that to pick it up once you've got it on you've got it in ready to flash you open up your software your black cat USB this right here it's telling you what's on there you go just your console it's telling you the console tab the device is connected and in bootloader mode then you go to your AVR firmware click the load file button which my file was on my desktop it's the PS Groove file you can see I've got a copy of the PS Groove that has multiple hex files for different devices and of course we're going to use the black cat US, USB one it loads in the hex file then you click the program button it takes a second real quick and it programs it up once that's done and it says the firmware is programmed then you click start application it jumps back it unmounts and that's that's it guys it's flashed in now what you do is I'm gonna unplug it from the PC I'm also resetting these two little switches back to the normal operation mode now if you'll bear with me I'll go over here to the PS3 I'm gonna power the PS3 off in the back if you have a slim you will have to unplug the cord the power cord I'm just plugging it up to a USB And just laying it up here on top just for this cut it on the switch on in the back then you hit the power button and the eject quickly after then you'll know it's doing it's working because the little red light on your black cat to come back on 
it takes a good bit longer for the PS3 to actually boot up and give you your start screen and it looks just like normal I mean once it starts it's just in the it's jailbroke it's in the development mode at this point you would get another USB flash and load your programs on it you want the PSFTP server the backup manager you would load them on to a different flash plug them into your USB and then install them it's very similar to running a WAD file on a Wii and you install it into your PS3 and then the backup manager of course is what dumps games to your hard drive internal or external um, the FTP is as long as you know what FTP is is self-explanatory is moving files through the network but anyway guys that's it you can ask for support or help over at the site robinhoodsplayground.com later